Hi lovely people, this is Disha here again today with another video. If you're stopping by to my channel for the first time, I want to say welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are, I just want to say hello to you. I hope you all are having a great day. This is how I will be protecting my family from the murder hornet. A few facts about the murder hornet is that its name is actually Vespa. The Mandarinia. These hornets have been spotted in Washington state. It has been said that these hornets come from Asia. How they flew nearly 5,000 miles um, is beyond my pay grade, but um, they are, they've been spotted here. So first things first, let me talk about what makes these murder hornets dangerous. A giant murder hornet? Ah! Oh, this thing is stuck in my arm. Oh, searing pain. My hand is completely seized up and locked in place. Look at this. If I turn my arm sideways, look at the welt. I'm, oh, oh, oh. Although rare, their stings are potentially deadly, um, especially to those who are allergic. If you're allergic to bee stings, um, wasp stings, or insects in general, um, these hornets can be dangerous to you. The second thing, their stings can release seven times more venom than that of the honeybee. So that's what makes these hornets very dangerous. And those mostly at risk are those who are allergic and beekeepers as their stingers can penetrate through the beekeeper suits. Another reason these murder hornets are dangerous is because they can kill hundreds and thousands of our honeybees and they can take out an entire hive in a, just a few hours. Honeybees pollinate our food crops and about one third of the food that we consume every day relies on bee pollination. So with that being said, the murder hornets can cause millions of dollars in crop damage. So those are the two main reasons why we don't want any issues with these insects. It is now May and the weather will be getting warmer soon. Um, so I'm a little concerned about these insects traveling over here on the East Coast. So let's see how I will be protecting my family and myself from this insect. A few items I decided um, that were essential for these insects and others are number one, an EpiPen. So an EpiPen is used for people with allergic reactions. You can have your child's pediatrician or even your provider order one and pick it up from the pharmacy. This is very, very essential to have. And I believe every household should have one, whether or not you have allergies, because you don't know, you can save a life um, to someone that's near your home or wherever you have one uh, placed. Another item that I have is the Raid Wasp and Hornet Killer. When you spray it, it can kill on contact um, and up to 22 feet. This here is a bug zapper. This item here basically is battery operated. So I believe it's two AA batteries. Whenever you go to kill an insect that's coming after you, you just press this button here and then you swat away. And this one has 2,750 volts. So yeah, this one kills on contact too when this button is pressed. Another item that I thought was essential was this hanging and standing bug zapper. This one is similar to the handheld um, zapper. Uh, it is to cover up to 625 square feet. Um, and it says that it's clog resistance. And this item, I actually had this since last year for my daughter's party. I had her party outside. Um, I sprayed this um, on the lawn in the backyard and also in the front yard. And I can say that it really did decrease the amount of bugs and insects that were that are usually outside in the yard. So um, this here, it says it lasts up to 12 weeks. So what you do is you just connect your hose to this 
part here. You turn this backwards and you spray. You spray the lawn. Let me close it back. And yeah, this one um, repels insects from your yard. And it covers up to 5,000 square feet. So yeah, I will have multiple uses from this. And like I said, I already used some last year. So I will definitely be using this uh, to repel the insects during the summer month. Okay, so another important item is to have screen doors and screen windows installed if you don't have this prevents these insects from entering into your home. Who wants to get caught with a murder hornet inside of their house? But even mosquitoes and flies and stuff like that. Those are the six items that I have purchased or that I have in my home. An EpiPen, wasp and hornet spray, a bug zapper, a hanging bug zapper, bug control spray, and mesh windows and a mesh screen for the door. I did purchase all of these items except for the EpiPen and the screen doors and windows on Amazon so you can definitely just type those um, items in the search for Amazon and they will definitely pop up. I just wanted to make this video to show how I'm preparing for this murder hornet and for other insects that we will probably be seeing this summer especially with us being home if i'm allergic to bee stings and stuff like that i don't think i will be going outside often um because i wouldn't want to put myself in danger um and it's it's kind of a scary thing they see that these things can grow to the size of a double a battery i believe and that's humongous. I don't think I've ever seen an, a flying insect that big. Um, also, keep in mind that these hornets, like bees, I don't think they would sting you unless they feel threatened by you. And a much tinier and deadlier insect than this murder hornet are mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are very dangerous. They carry a lot of bacteria and a lot of viruses, and they kill up to 700,000 people every year. So even if you are not really concerned about the murder hornets, I think these items for myself are important to have just to protect from mosquitoes as well. With the weather getting warmer and us having to stay at home um, with this epidemic i still want everyone to be able to enjoy their homes and their yards and stuff like that but like i said safety is first if you feel like it's not safe to go outside then obviously stay inside but for those of you who want to um you know spend some time outside get some sunlight even go in your garden and plant um plant some flowers and food and stuff like that um, which is what my myself and my mom do, we will be using these items to help uh, prevent insect bites. We've all been affected by COVID-19. So, I mean, I know the news is scary with all these different um, things. And all of a sudden, the murder hornet just came out of nowhere as well. And we can't handle any more devastation. So please keep safe, everyone. These items here are what I believe will protect my family and myself from insects and the murder hornet. And I will see you next video. Bye.